and I'm just worried about all this because I'm here and my mom's here and I'm ready to go whenever the radiation gets too hot. That's right. Now this man is also a viewer. He came up, you know, in his boat right after the broadcast. He's a nautical prepper, sir. Tell us about what you think about this radiation and also your plans to get out of here if it gets too hot. Well, we've been uh, planning on uh, setting sail after uh, we both retire. I'm retired now. My wife retires in a couple of months, and we've been planning this for years, for 20 years. And our boat's right out here. And, uh, you know, with this radiation and with the, the state of the country right now and its uh, denial of what's going on and uh, desire not to know, we, we, you know, is a, is a direct uh, assault and is why we're probably losing our country. And so that's why we've been, uh, you know, preparing the boat. We're putting food on it. We're, you know, we have fishing, the, the whole nine yards. Uh, and uh, we, we live about a mile down the road here mile and a half down the road here and uh, it's just uh, sickening that the media is not picking up on it. You guys are the, the real media, that's for sure. And uh, thank God for you guys because uh, if, the, if you guys weren't around, God knows where we'd be right yeah. now. We've seen the people up in San Francisco, about half of them just didn't care about this information at all. You guys are more south. So are people more awake down here? Uh, there's a, a large community of, of people that are awake here, and, and, the, and the problem is people don't really know how to uh, deal with this. What do you do? I mean, you put food together. If there's a, 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 a false flag event or something like that, they are going to close down everything. Everything will probably be closed down, including the bay here, which the Coast Guard has already told us. I've already talked to some of the Coast Guard guys, and they work with the uh, Homeland Security and the uh, Bay Police and the uh, um, uh, Port Authority here, and they will shut down all incoming and outgoing traffic. So we will not be able to get leave, it, leave the country. So that's you know another thing that's giving us incentive to prepare our boat and perhaps even put it down in Ensenada, which is the next port down the coast here. But you know with this radiation thing going on, and, and thank God you guys are doing that too, because that is so important that we get this information out. In fact, we're thinking about buying a, a Geiger counter ourselves, but. You know, it's just so scary that uh, this Fukushima and the uh, radiation and, I, you know, we can't eat fish or anything like that, or even the produce, you know, because they grow it out here in the Imperial Valley and they've had really high radiation levels out there, too. So that's another concern of ours is uh, our food. We belong to a co-op here and we eat nothing but organic food. And uh, my wife is from Austin, and uh, she's uh, part of that co-op. And uh, so we, we, we need to start checking into that, too, because, they're, they, you know, it, it, if it's grown outdoors, it could ha have radiation in it, and that is a concern. So, okay. Now, sir, I want to get your thoughts on the Second Amendment, and then give me any final thoughts. How do you feel about the Second Amendment rights being suppressed here in the state of California? Yeah, they're doing all they can. They're still, you're still able to get a few firearms right now, but who knows when uh, Feinstein's going to want to come and take yeah, them all. Yeah, because she, she says, Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in. If I could have gotten 51 votes in the Senate of the United States for an outright ban, picking up every one of them, M Mr. and Mrs. America, turn them all in, I would have done it. And she herself had, uh, had a concealed carry. She doesn't want you to have one, though. She doesn't want you to have your, your pleasure weapons. America has to step up. The mothers, the women, the men of America have to make a decision as to whether their personal pleasure is more important than the general welfare. These, these are for pleasure. These aren't, these, these aren't about your rights. These are for pleasure. So, sir, give me your final thoughts on any topic. Well, I actually haven't had any pleasure with mine for a year because that's not what they're for. So um, that's all there is to it. All right, sir, your final thoughts. People need to get themselves right with their spirituality, with whatever their religion thoughts are, you know, because this is, these are in really uh, crazy times, and there's never been anything like this, an event like this could... Uh, these are just momentous times, and people need to uh, get right with God and themselves and then do the best that they can to prepare for any kind of emergency, get food, uh, and get together with their community, get to know their neighbors, and, and try to stay on top of the situation. Uh, if you know police officers or anything like that, you know, or uh, anybody who works with the system, try to work with them so that, you, you know, you have some support, you know, when, if the bottom falls out of this. So you guys come on in here. We got two great guys, a great way to end our West Coast tour. We found some radiation, but luckily for these guys, it's not too, too high yet, but you guys definitely be on your guard. So this is it. 
West Coast Tour 2014, Jakari Jackson, the InfoWars Nightly News. You can find more reports at InfoWars.com and PrisonPlanet.tv.